each and every single set. Now, as far as this first set goes, I want you to think about taking your time. This should put you at around a five second pace. So grab your weights. Roll those shoulders down and back. And let's begin. Exhale, we'll externally rotate. Pulling the weights up towards the chest, just like we did in that warm up, taking it down. Slow and controlled. Big exhale. Taking it down. Five second pace. Five, four, three, two, and one. Taking it down. Just like that. Last rep. Good. Okay, set that. Those weights down. 60 seconds here. You're absolutely more than welcome to go back to that somatic touch during these recovery sets. It's always good to get a feel or reevaluate how these biceps are feeling because throughout today's class, we're doing so much bicep work team that even like when we get into the bent over low rows, okay, we're still working the biceps. So the biceps are gonna constantly be working throughout today's class and they're gonna be feeling different throughout the class. So super important that you're connected to it and you know what's going on. And ultimately, <sighs> that's gonna enable you to be smart about it, the weight that you're choosing, okay? So second set here, we got eight reps. <sighs> reps are gonna be a little bit quicker <sighs> as we go. Through this set, you want to think about, team, keeping that core braced so we're not swinging back and forth, okay? Because even on that last set, I started to feel my, my momentum taking me backwards as I was pulling the weight up. Now... That instantly reminded me to lock my core in so that I can specifically isolate the biceps and not overcompensate and put extra strain on my low back, essentially, okay? So make sure the abs are braced. I always like to think of it as if I was going to take a punch from Mike Tyson in the stomach, right? If you were gonna take a punch from Mike Tyson, you wanna make sure that those abs are locked in. And it should stay that way throughout the entire 30 second set. Okay, grab your weights. We got 10 reps this time. Lock those abs in. And let's work. Three second pace. So the weights do not stop moving here. We're staying under control, we're breathing, and right about now, those biceps should be fired all the way up. Last one. Good, set it down. Now, I don't know about y'all, but this is where I'm starting to feel my biceps really feel alive, you know? So I'm going to go back to my somatic touch. And what you'll realize team is that this is also a way of, as much as it is awakening, we can use it as awakening, this soft touch can also soothe and calm the muscle down, okay? So, play with it and realize we need both the yin and the yang as we get into this next set, all right? Set number four, grab those dumbbells. We got our abs braced. We're breathing it out. Good. 
Good. Coming up on the last two reps here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's a challenge. These are struggle reps. Ah. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Good team, good team. I know this is challenging. I know this is challenging work. And I know you're like, why do we have to do one more set? Because this is what's going to get us to develop the strength that we're looking for within the bicep, okay? We're going heavy. We have one more set. And then we're going to take some of the pressure off of the biceps and place it on the back, all right? So stick with me, bear with me. It's just one more set and then we'll move on. Then I got some more, got some more stuff for y'all. Little bit, all right? A little bit later towards the end of class, a little bicep surprise, you know? But uh, go ahead and just take a look at your biceps. Just, you feel that pump, y'all? Y'all feel that? That ain't no joke. Okay, last one, let's go. Last 10. Lock those abs in, okay? If you kept the weight the same, this is gonna be that point of discomfort where things might start to break down because the weight is so heavy. And if you have to get less than 10 reps to maintain quality form, that's okay. Nice work. Set it down, team. Set it down. We got bent over low rows, okay? Now, obviously the back is a much larger muscle group than the biceps, which means since we're trying to develop strength that we can go heavier no. with our weight selection for the back. So use this time to up the weight because this weight should feel heavy for the bent over low row. And let's talk about how this is going to look. Now we only have four sets total, okay? For this dumbbell bent over low row. You're looking at 10 reps across the board. Now the one thing that is going to change is the amount of time spent in the set. So instead of 30 seconds, we're gonna have 40 seconds. That's gonna put you at a four second pace consistently for each and every single set, all right? So 40 seconds of work, 60 seconds of rest. Now, understand team that although the main muscle group being worked here is the back, you're also going to feel this in the biceps, especially since the biceps are already turned on right now and active and uh, super active, you're, you're still going to feel this as it's the secondary muscle that's working as we low row, okay? So grab your weights. We're gonna start with the weights out in front of the body. Exhale, lift, pull the elbows back, pinch the shoulder blades together. Let's go. Once again, taking our time, focusing on that pace meter. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Big pull on the way up, one, two, three, four. And it's important that we use the power to get the weight up and we take our time on the descent, okay? Set the weight down. So, studies have shown that strength, there's more strength gains during, occur during the eccentric portion of the lift, which is when we're taking the weight down, specifically for the low row, then the concentric, okay? Which is when we lift up. So that's why I'm saying it's very, very important that if you are trying to gain that strength, 
you want to focus on taking your time as you bring the weight down back down towards the hips all right so we got our second set here bent over low rows i'm gonna get a quick swig let's grab our weights get back into position and let's get it chin down spine neutral big lift slow and control Now, team, focus on pulling your elbows back as you bring them up. So this way we avoid shrugging the shoulders during the lift. Breath to movement, exhale, pull up, inhale, take it down. And so what do I mean by that? As far as the shoulder shrugging, oftentimes you'll see people, especially when they're focusing on heavy weight and they're doing, they're doing their low row, if the weight is too heavy, they'll start to roll the shoulders up like this as they pull back. So what I'm saying is pulling those shoulders down and back and then pulling the elbows up and back here as opposed to here, all right? So I want y'all to think about that. And maybe that's something that you didn't pay attention to. Maybe it's something that you didn't notice. But now that you have that visual, you can start to focus and hone in on what that form looks like as well as what it feels like. Okay, feel that? Pay attention. We don't want this. We want that. Grab your weights. Third set. Let's get to it. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Remember, team, you want strength. You want to develop strength. Take your time on that eccentric. Big pinch at the shoulder blade. Keeping the chin tucked. So that we can also keep that neutral spine. And set it down. How we feeling? Okay. This is our last set, team. This is our last set. I want you all to do your best to finish strong right here. Alright, this ain't easy stuff. Down my biceps. I yellows. See this? You yellows. See this? Anything like me? See this? Got the the bicep veins. Oh, my God, you're tired, right you know? All right. Oh. Find that. Oh, look. Find that. This is good. This is look. good. We need that. Find that. Aggravation. We Find need that, that aggravation. This you is what is more, called, huh? or how Arnold Schwarzenegger would say, look, that's pump. I'm that's so pump. tired. Yeah. What about this, this huh? Pump. I will not. I will not. Oh. So let's There's finish nothing there. Here. Here. We got There's one more set. I'm going to do this. Hey, hey, hey. Over low rows. Oh. Oh. Ready again. Roll those shoulders down and back. I Let's get to it. Ay, mali. Hindi tama. O, pagod ka na. Ako na. Ako na. Get out of here. Come on. Borat. It's my turn. Tama to. So easy. So easy, Power. Ganto and easy lock off. Control. We have a lock off. 100%. See? Oh, lock off. Oh, 100. More than 100. 110. Last one. Okay. Oh, See? That's too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was some work right there. Because yeah, he did eight of them. He didn't <laughs> even do all that. Well, right there. That was some work. I right. did 14 right. last time. Check it out. Bicep surprise. I'm gonna stop the recording. Um, it's been 15 minutes already. Okay, we were focusing I on the back it. and the biceps, but we're also going to get a little bit of tricep work in as well. Because right now, the biceps are fatigued, or they should be, or they're getting there. And so, 
we want to start to recruit other muscle groups to help the biceps, who are the primary muscle, okay, the primary mover. We want to give uh, yeah, them my arm. the ability to feel like they're supported, all right? So we have bicep curls. It's a neutral grip, curl to press. So yes, the biceps are going oh, to be do that? the oh. main ones working oh, did that. as we pull the weight up. up. But the you triceps are going to assist mm, in the complete the movement.